just look at the nature of the road. This is very, 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 very bad. From Osonso to Sekeswa. Just look at it. Ah, I don't know the reason why we are voting and then we keep voting and there is no development in this area. Just look at it. Just look at the road. It's very bad. And this is in Abamanya. No network. The road to is it's not very bad. So the, the, water, the road to bad, bad. telecommunication uh, network, bad. bad what again? Oh, water. Bad. bad. So it's like all the three and we are we, we have more to talk about. Yeah. So all of them to ask we I, I can guess that <laughs> bad, 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 bad is, that is it. So everything is bad, bad here. Everything. Everything. Ah, yeah, so, yeah, and I think all these things are busy social I mean, They are farming up. They are farmers. Okay. This electoral area, most of them are farmers. Mm. This electoral area has produced best regional farmer in terms of cocoa. Hey, best regional cocoa, cocoa farmer. farmer. In Ghana here. In Ghana. <laughs> okay, continue. In the 2018, the year 2018. Okay. In the same year, we produced uh, the district best farmer. From the same electoral area. What, what are you trying to talk about? <laughs> the <laughs> same year. The same year. I so this tells you that this electoral area is very strong. That's how come I say very strong. So so the farmers here are not joking. joking at all. Are, never, never. They are not joking. Uh, rainwater. That is all I, uh, I will say for now. Uh, so we don't have good drinking water. And then the next one to this 21st century. Hmm. You know, you cannot do without technology. Yeah, exactly. We don't have good uh, communication network too. No is, it, is, it, is, it, is it if you say you don't have good okay. telecommunication okay. network? Is it that you have you it? Have, you, don't have, you don't have it. Ah, uh, just let it. Well, you don't have it. Uh -huh. don't That's have the thing. Because, because actually, you have to go and climb three before <laughs> making calls. <laughs> so you can imagine how That's you, struggle, you struggle to communicate to as, a, as an honorable member communicating to the assembly mm. in terms of receiving message when there is meeting you have to go and stand somewhere so it's when, like all the time you have to be monitoring, monitoring. And you that, need to be strategic uh, common oh. common network that is it so for how long have you been all right what's up lovely people my name is always the village boy thank you so much for making it to my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm here with the honorable member for Suta Pontra Donko Electoral Area, he's the assembly member here. And I'm here to engage him to ask him the current state of his electoral area. So, Honorable, you're welcome. Welcome to my brother. All right. Village boy. Yeah. Mm. My it's pleasure. Not nice meeting you. Exactly. My pleasure having you here. Same. Let me break my mic and then we, we start a conversation. It's going to be hot too. <laughs> don't, 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 worry, don't worry. All right. So, Honorable, uh, maybe first time someone is watching you on Village Boy YouTube channel, kindly introduce yourself. Like, tell us something oh. about yourself. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you for your your presence here. Okay. The name is Abraham Now Bobby. Okay. Uh, Bobby. Yes. Okay. So many have been pronouncing it differently. <laughs> okay. So, okay. That's the name. That's the name. Bobby. Okay. Uh, okay. So currently, as you said, I'm the assembly member for Sutapo Tadoko Electoral Area. Mm. Uh, that is what I I can say for now. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's amazing. I love that because a young, energetic person serving as an assembly member is, is something that is very good. All right. Because I'm sure that you are ready for the work. More than ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's go into business. You okay. know, uh, what actually inspired you to go for this position? To go for the assembly member uh, this same position, like to be the leader for this electoral area? What's actually inspired you? Thank you. Mm. Uh, you know, all, all this while, we have seen our electoral area mm. and our villages here and the communities here to be handicapped in terms of development. Okay. So many people have tried, they did their best. Mm. And I have seen some potentials in me. Okay. 
that I can also do something to help the community. When they were there, those leaders were there, we were assisting them. Hmm. But since I have the feeling that I can also yeah, do you something, can, you can do it. Something, something, I have to also okay. opt to come out to lead. Okay. okay. And by so doing, I put my intention before the people. Okay. They accepted it and they said, okay. They've seen the potential that I am seeing, and that's how come. He became the, the member, the, the, the assembly member. member. Yes. Okay, so is it your first time vying for that position, or this is the second time, or third time, or fifth time? Right? Thank you. Uh, this is the second time, that's what I would say. Second time? Second time. But the first one, I didn't win. Mm. Uh, just because it's like the, it was a competition. Okay. Uh -huh. So I tried that one, and I was win by i was defeated by a small margin okay uh, what, so what, what, what was the margin if you could remember or you can't actually uh, the margin was around 18 votes 18, 18 votes 18 votes so the person then the, the equipment too was from my the same community okay okay so that that That's, makes it uh, that kind so of it's like we splitted votes okay yeah, okay so. okay okay all right so now we've understood that this is your second time meaning that you you really persisted and you know endure all this while and at this moment uh, it's i think it's the right time for you to become a member of a suit up the very electoral area yeah okay so uh, how many communities are in this electoral area and if you can uh, tell us uh, what they do the kind of activities they perform in these various communities well we, we have four major communities hmm. strong ones of course Okay, okay, okay. Strong one. Strong one. one so yes. <laughs> they are very strong oh, in terms of okay. population, mm -hmm. in terms of the activities that they do. Okay. These communities, if I should mention them, we have Akume Suiti, mm. we have Tadoko, we have Odomeji, then we have the Mega Sutapo Abizi. The Mega Sutapo. The Mega Sutapo Abizi. Okay. When I okay. talk of the Mega uh this. Uh, Suta Pagbezi has about three Dademanche. Okay. Which sometimes we call them chiefs. Okay. Uh, Dademanche that contribute to the electoral, uh, the police station okay. here. Okay. So that's why I'm saying that is the mega. So that, mega. that one has a larger population. Compared to the others. Because, uh, compared to the others. Okay. Followed by Akumesu. Then we have uh, Odumeji following. And then Tadoko. Tadoko camps. Yeah. They are farming out. They are farmers. Okay. This electoral area, most of them are farmers. Mm. This electoral area has produced best regional farmer in terms of cocoa. Hey. Best regional cocoa, cocoa farmer. farmer. In Ghana here. In Ghana. <laughs> okay, continue. In the 2018. The year 2018. Okay. In the same year, we produce uh, the district best farmer from the same electoral area. What, what are you trying to talk about? <laughs> the same year. The same year. My so this tells you that this electoral area is very strong. That's how come I said very strong. So so the farmers here are not joking, joking at all. Are, never, never. They are not joking. But it's like we are. Uh, they are doing the work, mm. but. We, we've seen little, little development when it comes to uh, uh, helping the farmers. Okay, okay. Because when you come to our road, I we, don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We, uh, we, we, we'll dive into that. But right. I just want to know, is it only cocoa they produce here? Or no, what are the costs? Like, they, we want to know the kind of costs right. they produce here, okay, you know? Okay, okay. Mm. They don't do only cocoa, but cocoa... Is here in Abana. Okay. And then we have they do garden egg, maize, yam, cocoa yam. I mean, so oh, it's like oh, oh, mis oh, mis oh, farming, mis, mis, mis every, cropping, everything. Everything. When you come to animal railing, to you see them. My goodness. They mean that the soil here is fertile. Very, 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 very fertile. Wow. And I mean, we are blessed to have. Uh, when it's dry season, mm. sometimes it starts raining from he here. 
because of the oh. vegetation over here you see them experiencing earlier rain okay so as we speak now today today's date is 30th mm, 30th uh, april, april. Mm. but a lot of people have started harvesting garden egg you you are you serious about that very very serious when you go to the market <laughs> right now you see them you still garden egg on the market that is it coming from this electoral area that is it last week i was here when the hyundai came and to my surprise the hyundai loaded about full garden egg and then sent it to market fully packed fully, fully packed without any passenger so how is the market going like uh you know people come from uh, far places okay a place like much mm. to come and buy so since they have now started harvesting you see that uh customers have not buyers have not come in their numbers okay now we have about three four people okay. who they have been been supporting mm. some the families okay so they alert them when uh, the harvesting time is due okay yeah, okay so. okay so with that no do the buyers have like do they get it easy assessing the road to this place oh. do they like how far with the with the development not not, the, not not at all the farmers themselves they struggle mm. in terms of bringing the farm produce from their farm to even the roadside on top of the, the best farmers you are producing here in the electoral area you still have issues with your roots and uh, it, it's not easy it's not easy last time we we we, we had a meeting i had a meeting with the uh Dade Manche. Mm. all the Dade Manche in the electoral area okay. even those outside the electoral area i okay. brought them together and we were trying to talk about the nature of the route okay Okay. So we spoke about it and then not just speaking about it, mm. but we tried to petition the the district chief executive. Okay. Who is the district chief executive you can mention? Honorable uh, Joseph Sam. Okay. Okay. You can they normally him. call him Joseph. Okay. We tried to petition him and then the MP. Mm. That's what's the name of the MP too? The MP is Honorable uh, Bismarck Nyako. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Palmania MP okay uh, so we try to petition them that it's like we have a lot of potentials in this electoral area mm. as i said earlier that we have district best farmer and the regional best cocoa farmer okay and then out of it we've achieved nothing so if we were to have good road network mm. i think this will help us to showcase our potentials and a lot of revenue may come from this, from this very very electoral area mm. so if care is not taken they've not come to our aid then it's like the, the coming election i don't think mm, some of us uh, yourself will, will, will not involve ourselves so what yeah. was the response from the from these uh, two leaders the dc and then the mp what was the response after the petition they, they told us that uh since we are in the election year, mm. the government in power is uh, the MPP Dakufado government. So they wanted from the this is for coming from the DC. Okay. So they put our petition before them. Mm. And they also advise us that they pray that we don't only do the petition as the electoral area alone. Okay. So we should try to engage the other electoral areas who are on this stretch okay who also you so yeah. what's the name of the stretch from from uh, akateria mm, to where to sumo junction okay but uh we we try to engage them mm. we engage osonson okay Bripon Su sutawa then sutapo these are electoral yeah. areas okay yeah mm. and then tenwanya mm. and then tuboso Okay. that's polywa electoral area okay so it's about five electoral areas that we try to bring them together before oh. this petition okay to increase the number so that at least when okay. we talk is it to go a bit far that is it okay. that is it so they told that they, they, they just promised us that maybe something they they are going to work on it and something but 
action speaks louder than words so, you know meeting them how, how like the the body language how they uh, you know respond to your petition from your own view how will you rate it is it is it something that will come out positive or like he's just like that kind of is in a pipeline it will come <laughs> so keep with it. <laughs> that, that's that's good that's good that's what we we've been experiencing all this while so let me see that is what i will say that mm. to, for now i've seen no action okay mm -hmm, i've okay. seen no action okay so it is in the pipeline that they keep telling us okay. but we want to during this time i want mm. to make sure that if they don't do anything about it then as we said then they are go we are going to either demonstrate okay that's what I, I'm, I'm about to mention uh, because i think demonstration is it's it's, a, it's the right of the people that is right? if something is going wayward or it's not going in their favor yeah they can actually demonstrate so that the government or the leaders can listen to them but did you mention demonstration to them we mentioned what, what was the response we mentioned that's how come the district chief executive advised us that mm. first the first petition was only submitted by Suta Point Electoral Area. Okay. Suta Point Electoral Area. Mm. And out of that, he advised that we should add the other electoral areas, the other four electoral areas to it so that okay. it, it, it increased the population and it's to speak volume for us. Okay. So for now, that is all that I will say that they are just giving us promises. And assurance, until, just, just yes, assurance. Just assurance. <laughs> so we are just praying that things should go as they say. If not, I'm putting measures in place to okay. see us on the street. Okay, that, I mm. think that would be better and yeah. that would be best. Okay, so uh, talking about the road, it's like you are only mentioning the road. What other other aspects that you, your electoral area are facing that you would want uh, the leaders to, I mean, come to the assistance of? Okay, your... the reason why I was speaking about network, uh, the road network is that mm. uh, because we are speaking about farmers yeah, and yeah. how... I just want yeah, us to uh, also switch uh, to so, go and then talk about uh, some of the all right, other all right. aspects. You see, this area that we are talking about is deprived of so many things. Hmm. So many things that even if the sun is shining, we are suffering. <laughs> if it's raining, we are suffering. <laughs> because uh, ah. we have, we lack proper uh, <laughs> drinking water. A good drinking water. On top of all these things, you we doing. don't have we don't have any drink good drinking water at all. I wish I wish we can I can take you there so that you look at our source the, of water. Th those those videos will be showing on the screen for people to see well, the kind of water you uh, drink. All right, we all right. definitely go. I'll be very check, grateful. Check, check uh, it up. Yeah, just last week hmm. before it starts raining, we went to we wake up we went to the where our source of water mm. and there was no water in the in the river hey there was no water even the tea it's like the tea that parliamentarians <laughs> <laughs> take so the whole community was complaining so i have to organize the communal labor quickly okay. for us to uh go and then dig some well okay somewhere ourselves that's safe you see your mom power uh, that too. is it that is it so we use our mom power and you know god is so wonderful that that very day that we did that mm. we did that and then it's rain so that it's like if not because of the rain, rain so when you <laughs> we, when, when, we solely depend on uh, rain water that is all i uh, i will say for now uh, so we don't have good drinking water and then the next one to this 21st century mm. you know you cannot do without technology yeah exactly we don't have good uh communication network too no is it is it, is it is it if you say you don't have good okay, telecommunication okay. network is it that you have it you don't have you don't have it uh -huh, just like a, well you we, don't have it uh -huh, that's have the it. thing because because you, we have to go and climb three before <laughs> making calls <laughs> so you can imagine how that's crazy. you struggle you struggle to communicate to as, a, as an honorable member communicating to the assembly hmm in terms of receiving message when there is meeting you have to go and stand somewhere so it's when, like all the time you have to be monitoring, monitoring. And you need to be strategic 
common common network. That is it. So for how long have you been fighting for all these things? Like uh, you know, this thing uh I wouldn't say that is because I am a assembly member now, and that's why I'm fighting for this. Mm. It started a long time. But then Sekeswa, which is far, a little bit far from here, mm. they were also not having that network. So we were pushing hard so that if possible, any uh, network company at all can come to our aid. Mm. God willing, for Sekeswa, they've received Tigo. Uh, that was around 2013. Okay. Thereabouts. Like, like 10 uh -huh. years ago, 10 that years ago, even more. Uh -huh. mm. They receive it, but that one was just a community one. So within so a certain within, yeah, okay. that is it. Okay. We were pushing hard, hard again, and then MTN came to Sekeswa again. Okay. So for now, Sekeswa is having. We were thinking that oh, since MTN has come with their pool, which will and will, it, will it, will, it will cover this place. Mm. But yes, still, yes, still, we don't, we don't have, we don't, have, we are not having it. Are they, so it's affecting. Mm ask a lot because now information now is is, is a money it's money exactly, uh -huh. exactly. So since you are not having information no you can only listen, sometimes listening to news and then reading news on uh, online, online trying to we I have mean, students a lot of students here teachers here so it's making uh, it will make the work, work very 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 difficult that it even affects government workers who are being posted here people don't like to they don't want to stay here just because there's no network. They, there's no network. The road to is it's not very bad. So the, the, water, the road to bad, bad telecommunication uh, network, bad, bad water again, water bad. bad. So it's like all the three, and yeah. we are we we have more to talk about. Yeah. So all of them to ask we I, I can guess that <laughs> bad bad bad. bad. That is it. So everything is bad, bad here. Everything. Everything. Ah, no, so, and I think all these things are basic social amenities that are supposed that to be it. provided for the people that because they are their life heavily depends on it. That is it. So we feel the community feel rejected because it's like we are not part of Ghana. We are not ah. part of Upper Money. So like, like I just don't get it because you involve yourself or you you exercise your franchise by casting your votes. Yeah. And the benefit, I think, the value that you need to get out of your vote is these things. Yeah. And on top of that, you have people here very productive and energetic, working hard on the field. And at the end of the day, they are being adjudged as the best farmers in the, what do you call it, within the electoral area. Yeah. And still you are facing all these kind of challenges. <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, I but, just don't get but, it. But, what, what other challenges do, do, do we have here? I'm sure that you are going to say it's bad and I know it is <laughs> very bad. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, everything about life that will make life meaningful here is really bad it's except the air that so, god god <laughs> god himself provide for us but but viewers because it's very now, sad like no when you come to health sector mm. we don't have any good health sector that we can easily assess even in our petition as i said earlier mm. we stated those things that uh people are not only hard working in uh on the farm okay but they are hard working in bed bed too okay so they they, they procreate that is it very important that is it and to your surprise eh, since we are not having any good health uh, center here mm. when a woman gets pregnant because they are hard working in bed too okay yeah, when a woman gets pregnant you know, it is mandatory for them to get protected, get good health advices mm. for the fertile in their baby and yeah. their stomach, their womb to mm. be able to at least develop, uh, develop well. well. Okay. But because of lack of those these health facilities, mm. sometimes you you have to carry them on this rough road. Which is very not terrible. very very ah. So at the end of the day, they get miscarriage and then, then then they lose their babies. Ah. When a snake bites you right now, last time it happened. Even the nurse, the nurse who was forced to put uh, posted, posted here. here, who is working, she was in the house. 
miscarriage. And the mm. husband has to come for help because my goodness, he cannot afford to be 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 productive in that side and other. Uh, they know that they because of the money. Uh, so I mean, the community is suffering. Is suffering. So we are we are just <laughs> pleading and then crying for people who will be touched mm, uh -huh, to come to, to the come assistance to, of to come to our aid. If not, then <laughs> I, I think we will do it uh, with our manpower. But right, to know, it to know, know yield, it to know your journey. Let, let, let me speak to my viewers okay. right now. Okay. You know, you always see me rant about these issues that is affecting this electoral area, Suta Pontradon coin electoral area. And you might think that I'm just doing something for doing sake, or maybe I'm just talking, talking. I, I just like I just like talking or love talking. That's why I always talk about these issues. But today I'm here with the honourable member. You, I, I believe you can hear from him, right? You heard what he said. It is the fact, like nothing is ongoing here, like nothing, absolutely nothing. Life is tough here, as we speak. Nothing, like and. We have people here who are doing so well for this country. I always say that the villages are the backbone of this country, right? They serve as a foundation of this country. You go to the market, you buy things at a very ex exorbitant price. Why? Because farmers in the villages are not able to transport their farm produce to the market, right? And it's very sad. So if you are out there, if you are a politician, if you are a philanthropist, if you are an individual who is touched to support us, in whatever capacity, we are ready to accept you. We are willing to accept you. All right, so honorable, let's continue with the conversation. Yeah. How, how far with the with, with the education here, like the standard of education here? Okay, thank you. Before I answer that, mm. uh, you asked me uh, a question about other challenges that we are facing. Okay. And earlier on, I said that we have about four strong communities around mm. in my electoral area. Two communities have electricity. Okay. Which other two communities are mm. deprived. They are not having it. Mm. It has become a headache for me. Because as I said, with electricity, mm. at least you can watch what is going on. Yeah. It's help us in our production in everything. Exactly. So those two communities, that is Akumensuiti. Mm. and then sometimes mm. Nyonye, Nyonye is also part of us it's also part, part of, us. of us oh it's today that yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just they I'm are not they are not having electricity mm. and uh, as i said i have tried to push a little bit okay but as i said they only try to give us hope that this is the it, pipeline it's it in the pipeline it, hopeless come. hopeless <laughs> hopeless assurance so as I, we are just praying. We are just praying that maybe, maybe something will mm. fall. Some money will fall because it's it's election year. So you asked a question about mm. education. Yeah, the standard of education here. Thank you. Mm. We in my electoral area here, we have about three schools. Okay. We have three schools, and those schools are basic schools mm. with one JHS. Okay. The basic school we have Akuma who who is having from KG to class six. Okay. And then that of Udumeji. It's only Sutapa that is having JHS. Okay. okay. So for education, I can say that it's a little bit okay. But the challenge is that teachers don't accept posting. Mm. Those who do the education for us. They don't accept the posting. It's uh, sometimes those who do accept to when they come because of the nature, the nature of the how mm. the places are not developed. Mm. They don't feel comfortable staying. <laughs> so within a year or six months, hey, wow. they apply for steady leave or whatever. Mm, they then just, they leave. Just... So as we speak now, you go to Tutapu and it's like we have only three teachers. My goodness. In the JJs. Teaching the, all, the all the subjects. All, all the subjects. So you can imagine. That is that is very sad. That is, is so. We are working on it since we have just been shown in. Uh, we I went to a meeting. I'm part of the social 
service committee. Okay. So education is also, since I'm also a teacher, I'm also a teacher. Mm. Uh, education is also part of our work. Okay. So I put those petitions before them that we are lacking teachers here. Mm. And this is what is causing the lack of teachers in the electoral area. Okay. So they should do something about it for us. And God willing, I, ha I had, I met three people that personally they are willing to come to the area. Okay. Mm, teachers. Okay. Three teachers from different regions. Different regions. Yeah, and I spoke to them. So can it be worked on? Yes. I am trying to help them. Okay. I'm trying to help them to push hard so that they, 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 they can they Yeah. Okay. Mm, but currently, uh, our advice, uh, our parents too. Mm. If the teachers are few and they are doing, they are trying their best. Mm. When you come to discipline, yeah, when, continue. when you come to discipline, mm. and I will advise our parents that uh, they should also help. But it's like these days, what I've seen is that most parents or guardians want to leave the discipline of their children in the hands of governments. <laughs> which is not possible which is not possible because you you spend a lot of time with your with your child i always well. advise them as a teacher because when we go to pta meetings i tell them that you know in the school we have a regulated time mm. the time is structured so teachers do their best for students to obey yeah. the rules and regulations there mm. and there's a saying that charity begins at home exactly so for your child to become useful to the society, to become what you want him or her to be, mm. you have a role as a parent to, to play. play. Could you imagine that a child will misbehave in the house and then a mother or a father will say that he or she is sending the child to the school for... For them to discipline. To, no, 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 no. The person misbehaving Behave in the house. Discipline the child or your child, your, 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 your son or your daughter. You are sending her to. When I remember when we were kids, yeah, we were schooling here at the top there. Mm. There is a saying that I can win when you hear school. Okay. I can school when you hear mm. Issues in the house are not sent to school. Mm. And then issues from the school too, you don't bring them to the house. Exactly. But these days, it's like parents have abandoned. We are all chasing. Uh, I don't know what our money or our business we are working and we don't have time for the for, for the kids. The, and this is also not helping us. It will not help us to bring the potential in the children out. Because at least you should have time exactly. to make sure that what the child eats is good, the child dress well and go to school, mm -hmm. all those things. Very, he does his, uh -huh. mm. So with education, I can say that for now due to the lack of for school buildings i don't think we have issues, issues with, that. with that okay but all that i'm trying to push as one of my ambition is to get uh, this school feeding program okay okay my, I, I, I will i would i will even ask you in a subsequent question oh, okay. your next project okay yeah. so with that as far as education is concerned mm. i think this is what i can say so far we don't have problem with uh, school uh, buildings and other things okay but lack of teachers we, we the teachers the teachers and the parents parent commitment, in her commitment to... uh, that okay is, okay mm. okay so now well thank you so much for for that submission now what's what's your next project as an assembly member for this level area your next project for all the four communities okay uh, I have, I mentioned earlier on that I have two other communities that are not mm. having electricity. Okay. Which, as I said earlier, we, we, we cannot live in this 21st century without technology. Exactly. So the students who are in the schools, mm. since they don't have light, they don't, we don't have communication network, I'm working hard for the two communities to get light okay and then the network to the communication network 
for that one i know sometimes we say that if anybody could come to our aid mm. any of the mps or whatever will come to our aid fine but i know i know that it is not the duty of the mp or whatever mm. to do that okay but they can do it to help us but then during mm. their campaigns they yeah yeah, yeah. No, what do you call this, it these are the problems that, these so, are the problem. <laughs> so if, they if to now, mislead the people if now you are in power and we are mm. holding you accountable we are telling you that you said you that, want to do this that is it when you win or when you come into power that is so it. now you are in power we want, want you to you come to and do it. do it so yeah. now we don't want to hear any excuse whether i'm not responsible or whatever so okay. you are responsible what uh, you told us we are just working on that part right all right uh -huh. so so as you said i don't yeah. want you to be telling me that the mp is not that is not his work <laughs> who told us it is his work his job to do that okay ah. then, then then i'm sorry for saying that but okay. i will let the community help so that we be on them yeah you uh, you, you push. still be uh, on uh, him uh, until he he he, he, make, he he gets it done that is other it. than that what that he is. said we are we hold you just you know accountable to it yeah, yeah. That, that, that is it okay and then where you leave a uh, communication network mm. the communication network i thought of it i had a dream about how we can get one okay so very soon i will start that project okay uh -huh. I how, think, how soon i i think by let me see a month okay i'll get that I'll, I'll, I'll be on you no problem ah no problem <laughs> i'm just praying that the community should support okay that, that, is, that uh, is very my, important my challenge is financial support in terms of movement mm. uh -huh. and movement. and even before we end this conversation because we're about wrapping up okay. before we end this conversation how is the commitment of the people in this electoral area uh, towards your 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 goals how is the commitment like oh they are they have been supportive mm. they have been supportive especially let me use this opportunity to thank all the that in the electoral area okay the, for them for them they have been and the queen uh, my mm. yeah they have been supportive since i came to uh, office mm, okay. yeah because anytime i call for meeting you see them but uh, one challenge that we are having is that when i communicate my vision or my plan to mm. them i want them to meet the communities where they are and again invite me because I call for opinion leaders meeting, mm. and then I share my vision, my plan with them. With them. So when they go, go back, you also expect, expect them, them to, to gather their gather people and then invite uh, you so that you can speak to the that is those, it. Those that, that, that is it. Very because, important. Uh, we we wanted some. You know, when you go and lobby mm. for something, a project like market, like school, mm. like that of the health, what? It becoming our challenge is the availability of land. People mm. don't want to release. So far as they hear that it is government who is coming to or an NGO who is coming to, they want to sell the land at a, a very, very high, high, high price, price, which which will not help uh, because we are just. I mean, we are pulling the thing, and someone, some people too are pulling it. So I at mean, least there's some. There should be something like a bit, something that, that will just, just attract them. So that, to but. <laughs> Maybe you have to be, you know, keep talking to that them is, so that, that at that least is, that is the challenge. They, they will understand better. In as of my next project, there is uh, uh, this uh, company, mm. NGO, okay. called Joyset. Joyset com uh, NGO. Mm. And they wanted to help us with the health facility that I said. Okay. So it's a clinic. Okay. Which I'm sure mm. we for that we've gotten the land. We've gotten the land. We send the papers and everything to them. Okay. And they promise that they are going to use three months to construct the clinic. Okay. Which will start in June. Okay. 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 But where the land is located, it's far it's a little bit far from the community. So although this wasn't part of their plan, but since it's far from the community, that place is not having the low tension post. Okay. So they wanted to extend the light to the, to, to the, to the area. Place. And uh, again drill a borehole okay because it's far from from, from uh, the source community. of water oh, okay uh -huh. since we don't have any even good source of water mm. so they wanted to drill a borehole so that it will facilitate the project okay because in the course of constructing 
you need water, they need water and, and, and those electricity to do their okay, work. Okay. So by June, they will, they will, they, the project will fully commence. Okay, but beautiful. The, uh, 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 the lightning and everything will start this month. This month. Uh, me. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Amazing. I would say that congratulations to you and thank you so much for your commitment yeah. to your I really like your resilience and um, you are doing a great job. No one's supposed to tell me, but I've been seeing it and um, you are doing well. God bless you for that uh, because uh, this is what I like and this is what I, I want to see. Okay. And I'm seeing it. All right. I know that you are, you are actually I mean, pushing hard to make things better. Okay, so we want to wrap up. Another time, we'll have time to discuss or talk more about things that are actually affecting us and some of the avenues that can be, you know, yeah. investors can actually come here, invest in those avenues. We will talk about those things later. Uh, what, what's your final words? Then we wrap up. Okay, thank you hmm. for uh, your comments. But uh, I will say that all that I'm saying is that uh, I, I, I'm not doing it out of my own power mm. it was out of the support of the entire community as i said that mm. they the money and all those people and even you you have been supportive to me so <laughs> uh, i just pray that you keep supporting and you keep engaging us sometimes those things keep us on toes mm -hmm. exactly. on track exactly. so that we do the more. right the right thing and we do more yeah so when you are doing something that is like nobody knows nobody no, appreciates it no one is even yeah, I, I, I mean ah, so you feel like <laughs> so for now what i will say that uh thank you very much you're welcome uh and i use this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who is listening to who will be listening to us mm. and who would like to come to our aid exactly. use this medium to tell them that Tutapon community is in the eastern region of Upper Mania. Upper Mania Krobo. So, a, ma a market day at that one. That is it. <laughs> you remember <laughs> that story? <laughs> I, I do. I do. <laughs> a lot of people know us, so I just because of that. Yeah. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So, we are appealing that uh, any philanthropist, government, mm. anybody at all, NGO who would like to come to our aid, to contact me or you because we are all from the same exactly area. exactly uh, if you also know of any organization who will help us let Just me know grab, grab them, them grab them. them and then we write letters to them exactly and then very soon maybe out of that we will uh, have we, better that, water we have it. better uh, telecommunication I always say that. network exactly. thank you very much i love that mm -hmm. all right so thank you ladies and gentlemen i appreciate you so much for making it to this point and we'll come to your way again with another exciting one. But this one is very sad. You know, it's very, very sad. Mm. I am sad here, but how, you know, I need to, I mean, encourage myself. Share the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again. Peace out.